Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. So today I'm doing my what's on my iPhone 11 Pro Max. I still can barely remember the name, like it's too f***ing long. As you can see, we're in a different location. I wanted to get like really in the fall mood and you can't see it, but I have a very fall-y pillow right there. So just admire it for that split second. I'm obviously collabing again with my best YouTube friend ever, Brenly. Go check him out, he is amazing. He's He's doing this too so make sure you check him out but you already know watch mine first <laughs> because you're here by the way I would be rude if I wasn't introducing our special guests these are Craig and Eric and these are my Fox fall socks as you can see they are from bath and body works they're very soft craig and eric entered the chat so let's begin first of all if you didn't see my unboxing what are you doing go watch it my unboxings are absolute trash i am the trash queen if you didn't see that i got the iphone 11 pro max and this is the space gray color and right now i have the apple silicone case on it this is the black one but i'm going to take it off because this is a safe place i'm not going to drop it, hopefully so let's just enjoy the beauty that is the matte iPhone this is my home screen and if you've seen my what's on my iPhone video from July this is gonna be like extremely similar everyone is asking me to do a what's on my new iPhone so we're gonna go through this kind of quick but as you can see we have calendar in the top left I just love having it there then we have the clock phone weather camera photos and by the way with this phone I didn't put my old Old pictures into this phone I completely started it up as like a new phone so there's like no pictures in here I'm gonna have to rebuild my meme folder notes wallet lifetime that's my gym I still go to the gym I want to go a little more but I do go every week for sure and I love the gym so I have a whole video on my fitness routine <laughs> self plug if you want to go see it ways because I don't use Apple Maps at all Wells Fargo my bank obviously and then Starbucks I order the pumpkin cold brew or whatever the hell it's called so often It's like you scroll down my history. It's like pumpkin cold brew pumpkin cold brew like a million of them It's bad. So that's like my favorite drink this fall I guess you could say I used to be like really into the hot pumpkin spice latte or the cinnamon dolce latte But now it's all about the cold brew. So day one. This is my journal app It's not really like a diary, but I just kind of write in it when I want to daily horoscope this talks about your horoscope and I said this in my last video I don't think horoscopes are like that accurate it's more just like fun but daily horoscope is very accurate like whenever I look at it I'm like how did it know I don't know something about it's just super accurate so if you want a horoscope app you can do this one and it tells you like compatibility with other signs so I guess that's cool then we have twitch I said this in my last video which is so annoying but I want to twitch stream and I think I've decided I'm going to do Twitch streams for The Sims or I'm gonna do it on YouTube because everyone asked me to do Sims videos But I don't want to like spend my time editing a Sims video because I don't think that's like the point of this channel But I love The Sims so I think I'm gonna start streaming The Sims then we have Visco and guys <laughs> The Visco Girl meme has like ruined this app for me. Like when I go on it, I just feel really basic. Even wearing a scrunchie, because I love scrunchies, like that meme has ruined scrunchies for me. I just feel basic. And maybe I am like look at my surroundings, but Visco's ruined. Like it's kind of canceled now. Snapchat, I love Snapchat. This is like my favorite app of all time, like of all the social medias other than YouTube. As you can see, the Snapchat. Snapchat camera isn't zoomed in anymore like it used to be on the Max and it's very clear so I hate that but if you want to add me my snap is Sophia Noel so go ahead and add me <laughs> but just so you know my snap is private but you can see my stories so don't think I'm ignoring you Twitter so here's my Twitter you can go follow that too I love Twitter as well it can be a little annoying with like just all the drama but it's fun <laughs> then we have Instagram I 
don't really love Instagram. I just, I don't have the patience for it. I don't know how like feeds work. It's not my thing. I don't know. Like I just don't think I have that magic touch when it comes to Instagram. Also, if you want to check out another Instagram of mine, go to Camarda Crystals and you will see the Instagram for my crystal jewelry website. Then we have Reddit and I go on here literally just to like watch live chats of TV shows like Jersey Shore, The Kardashians, The Bachelor, like that's really all I use it for. Facebook I never use at all, but it's there because I need it. I have like 70 friends, like I don't use it. So Pinterest I've been getting a lot more into because I really am starting to get more into like my fashion and decoration style, I suppose. For example, like last night I was pinning ideas of hair dyes because I was kind of debating like, do I want to get lighter hair? I don't know because I'm trying to grow it out, but I'm pinning all of these brunette hairstyles. So we'll see, I guess. I guess one day when I'm getting impulsive, you'll see a video on that. But yeah, we have like personal style and I just have like outfits of things that I would wear. A lot of it is the Kardashians. <laughs> this one is called My Home After Graduation and all of these are private just because I don't want like things popping up on my friend's feed that I'm on Pinterest like all day pinning things. So I just keep it to myself, but here I am showing it. You can see my style. It's very like modern-ish and glam, I suppose. I definitely want like a house, maybe like a townhouse or apartment when I graduate. That's the plan. SoundCloud, I don't really use SoundCloud that much. I only really use it for like music by the weekend that's like not on Spotify. You guys know what I'm talking about if you are Spotify. I was thinking about switching to Apple Music because guys, I think it's fancier. Like Apple Music is like a status symbol. It's just like nicer, but I love Spotify. Here's why. On the desktop, Spotify has like an app that goes on your desktop and Apple Music doesn't have that. And I really like the desktop interface because I use it all the time. If you've seen my other what's on my iPhone, I have explained all of my weird playlists, but to name a few, we have a new one, Fall Vibes. This one's called I'm That Bitch, and this one just has like hype songs, but only for the fall. <laughs> then we have McDonald's Sprite. You guys love this playlist. Like, it is so good. Basically, the description is these songs feel like the cold air coming in as your car windows are down and you're cruising around the city at night. And it's very like chill, like hip hop, R&B type music. The perfect way to describe it would be like McDonald's Sprite. Like, it feels crispy and like cold when it's coming through the speakers. Does that make sense? If it does, this is the playlist for you. If not, leave. <laughs> then my gym playlist, Ariana, Summer, bunch of nonsense. And I'm really a fan of the lo-fi like hip hop beats. That is the only music that calms me down. I listen to it in the car. It's just very soothing. I listen to it when I'm washing up for bed. I feel like I'm at a spa. My Spotify is Sophia L97. So on the first page, I have icons because I like the way my icons look. Then on the second page, we have folders because I don't like the look of the folders, so they're not on the front page, but I don't like everything out of order. My folders are a little bit different this time. So in the first one, we have lifestyle. I'll just go through them quickly. We have Venmo, the weather channel, which is new. I love this app because when you have your location on the whole time, things will pop up like rain coming at 4.36 p.m. It'll be this long. Like it's kind of cool just to get a notification. Life 360, I am stalked by my family. Whole Foods, which I use for groceries. Clean Juice, which is a pressed juice place by me. And Rico's Acai, this is like the best acai bowls ever. My Philips Hue lights are new. So about a month ago, I bought a bunch of Philips Hue lights and I put them behind my TV. At night, it looks so cool. I'm gonna have to put some pictures here so you can see. I love this app. You can go in and you can control the color of your lights. You can make it literally any color you want. I just love these lights. I'd love to get them like behind my bed too one day, but not yet. We have the Alexa app, which I don't even use Alexa anymore, but it's just there. iAqualink, this controls the pool lights. Messenger, that's for Facebook, just in case. 
case like just in case i don't ever use it tiktok never use it but if someone sends me a tiktok i want to watch it in the app hulu i love hulu i love hulu more than netflix it's just amazing direct tv mercedes for my car yelp i hate this app i talk about it in every single video of what's on my iphone i think it's such a scam like they make you download the app but here we are going and doing exactly what they want shazam i know you guys told me you can shazam through snapchat i just like i don't know i am so old school with that like i just feel like i should have the app too so this is flight radar and this is so cool because you can track every plane in the sky so if you move around you can click on any of the plane icons and it'll tell you exactly where it's going how high it is and i just learned this recently but there's a button you can press if you see a plane actually in the sky you can press the button and point it at the plane and it'll like show it in the sky and tell you right on the camera like what plane it is it's so cool this is such a high tech like futuristic we're doing good things with technology app it's just very cool bitmoji that's obviously for the bitmoji keyboard zillow and apartments i've been using because i have just been trying to find places i think i want to move to charlotte like right when i graduate but i'm not against moving away for a little maybe like new york the city like it's just something new, you know? But I don't think I'd move alone, so that's why I'm kind of like, I want to graduate and live by myself for a little, figure out what I want to do, save money, that kind of thing. I've been doing a lot of apartment and like townhome searching because I would love a house, but I don't want to buy a house yet because that'll really lock you in. So I think the perfect combination would be a townhouse because that's like paying rent and it's a house. So that's what I'm feeling, or just like a really nice apartment but i just want it to feel like homey i'd love to decorate the outside like i just get so excited thinking about it but also i love looking at really expensive houses on these apps kind of seeing what i like and almost daydreaming in a way and just saving all of my dream homes just in case then we have countdown this is literally just to track when animal crossing comes out like that's it i cannot wait to get animal crossing i still have to buy a switch but i think i'm gonna do that on black friday because i'm not in a rush so it's like why would i waste the money so hopefully there's like a good deal during black friday and we can get a nice new switch mercedes companion and be good that is again for my car and another restaurant that's really good and healthy health we have Philips Sonicare. This is new because I just got a new toothbrush. It tracks your mouth and it'll tell you like if you missed any spots and just things like that. It's really high tech. Yeah, not necessary, but you are not gonna get cavities with that toothbrush. Fitbit, this is linked to my scale so I can see my weight and body fat and everything. My fitness pal, I use this a lot when I wanna see like if I'm eating enough protein because I say this in every video, but I don't eat meat. So I just want to make sure I'm getting enough protein and not too much fat or anything. Ovia, this is a fertility app, girls you know. Activity. Aloe Bud, this is a really cute app. You can basically go and see set like little reminders throughout the day like make sure you breathe make sure you drink some water it's very cute but that's pretty much it health this is an apple app i don't really use it but it's kind of just there this is swerk it and it has ab exercises i'm sure they have like other ones like other apps for different target zones but this is the ab one because i do everything in the gym but i don't really do abs unless it's like from yoga so sometimes i like to do just ab exercises Sizes with that app and then life sum this is kind of like another my fitness pal i haven't really used it i just downloaded it because it looked more aesthetic photography we have facetune 2 but i don't pay for it because i think it's kind of a waste of money so it's kind of just sitting there i don't actually use it lightroom kira kira this makes everything shiny if you want to know what i'm talking about there you go and yes you are on a stack of fall candles <laughs> lomograph you add like a bunch of those like aesthetic Polaroid look to your pictures. Pick Stitch you can make collages with. Retrocam is kind of like another Polaroid like dusty filter thing. Photo Flipper you can flip your picture because when you take a picture on the front facing camera with the actual Apple camera it flips it from what you're seeing so you can always just flip it back. Studio this is a superimposed studio 
kind of like a mini Photoshop. Canon mini print, you can print pictures from your phone. And then Perfect 365 is like the backup to Facetune. I talked about this in my last video. I don't really use it, but it's kind of just like there. Then these are all my Apple apps that no one talks about, so they're just sitting. Business. I have a bunch of apps because if you guys didn't know, I'm a freaking CEO, like by definition, I'm not like that crazy of a CEO. So these are all my apps for managing Camarda Crystals, which you guys have been asking me to do a video on like how I started, how I run the business, just tips on how I did it. Wix is through the website. That's like the back end, like seeing everyone's orders. Stripe is what we use to process everyone's payments or we use PayPal, so you can do either one. Stripe basically just processes credit cards and stuff. AdSense, I can see how much money I'm making from YouTube. By the way, click the ads. <laughs> YouTube Studio, this is like the back end of YouTube. You can see your views, comments, all of it. Google Drive, just good to have. Scanner that scans documents. LinkedIn, I've like really worked on my LinkedIn. I think in my last video I said I needed to update it. It's updated now, like she's looking fresh. Etsy, I was thinking of bringing Camarda Crystals onto Etsy as well, but I don't think that I'm gonna do it because you have to list one product at a time and then restock it. And each time you restock one product, you have to pay a fee. And I just think that's a waste of money. So I don't know. I thought it would maybe bring in more people since a lot a lot of people are browsing Etsy, but I don't think it's worth it. But let me know if you want to see Camarda Crystals on Etsy. School, these are all my school apps. We can just go through them really quickly. So we have Outlook, which sucks by the way. I never get the right notifications. Class has been canceled. I don't see the email because it doesn't show up in my inbox. It goes to clutter, like it's a mess. Anyway, Reef is for the eye clickers. Duo is kind of like for my signing in of my school account, just like a multi-factor thing. SC Rewards kind of is like your reward system for football games, but I never go. Like, I just, I'm done. I'm so done with college. Like, I don't care. Corsicle, you can track classes that you want to get into and it'll tell you if they're open. Passport is for parking and then Babbel is for learning languages. I really want to learn how to speak Italian or Polish and it's so annoying because my parents both can speak my mom speaks Polish because she is Polish and my dad speaks Italian because both of their parents came from Italy and Poland and they know how to speak the language but I don't like so rude so I'm gonna have to learn bookshelf that's for textbooks on your phone and then top hat is another like textbook platform I suppose then this app is called Yeezy and if you guys saw my last video which I keep saying but but I've been really getting into like the sneaker game and trying to like get Yeezy drops and get really just into that. The only problem is when I get the Yeezys and they show up, I'm like, wow, these are really nice. Like, let me keep them. And now I have three pairs. <laughs> there have been a lot of drops recently, but I just haven't been like on it because it's been really busy with school and everything. If you're interested in getting Yeezys, because everyone asks me, they're like, oh my God, like you have Yeezys? Like you must be so rich. And honestly, if you are like, on it like you follow single stop cop like you watch everyone's streams you'll know when they come out so you just have to really be on the news and then you need to know like how to get them and I learned with Yeezy supply when something's dropping you can't wait for someone to tell you like oh it's out because it's already too late like you have to be on there refreshing and then once you get in you're good you know like you're in the line you got to be quick anyway those are all my apps I'm not gonna explain them because they're pretty self-explanatory there are a lot of just like retail and resale apps. And then lastly, we have games. So I don't play a lot of games on my phone. However, I love The Simpsons Tapped Out. It's really cute because in the fall and winter, they change seasons. So right now it probably is fall. You know what? Let's log in. Let's log in. Guys, there's 728 updates. I'm just gonna put a picture of it when it loads. This is what my town looks like when it's in the fall time. Great. Then we have episode. I love this app and on the iPad, I don't know if you can do it on your phone, but you can make your own episode game. And if you guys don't know this, it basically is like a storytelling game where you can kind of like pick your outcome, I guess. It's kind of like reading a book, but like for stupid millennials. <laughs> and then Candy Crush, I just love that game. It's so perfect for wasting time. And then Newly, 
we have Mario Kart and I'm pissed at Mario Kart because I thought it was going to be multiplayer but it's not even out yet so I'm not going to play that until they add multiplayer but yeah. So that was everything on my phone and by the way the bottom we have messages, gmail, safari and of course youtube. Subscribe. <laughs> that was everything on my phone. I hope you guys liked it. I know it wasn't that different because I just did a video two or three months ago on what was on my iPhone and it's not that different but today we had a fall aesthetic and it was very cute plus we have the new phone I mean look at that little update I love the phone I think it's so awesome I don't really see that much of a difference like it feels like I didn't really get a new phone but it does look really nice so yeah, but anyway, thank you guys for watching. Thank you for showing support on the unboxing video. I hope you guys like this one. And make sure you check out Brunley, of course, and I'll see you guys next time. By the way, I have a fall haul coming of like a ton of clothes. So that's gonna be a really good video. And I have like a little funny gaming video coming. So keep an eye out and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.